So let us now talk about the clinical features of abdominal tuberculosis in general. So the clinical features can be divided into broadly these categories. There is a very varied presentation. First of all, we have the constitutional features. Constitutional features will include fever. Fever may or may not be associated with evening rise in temperature. There will be anorexia. There will be weight loss. There will be generalized irritability. And there will be poor gain of height. So these are the constitutional features initially that you will find. Along with that you can find that there is a mass or lump in the abdomen. The mass can be felt, it can be palpated anywhere in the body, anywhere in the abdomen. But mostly it is found either in the right iliac fossa or it is found in the periumbilical region. These are the two common sites where the mass can be seen. Although it can be palpated anywhere in the abdomen. Then we have SAIO. SAIO stands for subacute intestinal obstruction. So due to obstruction, due to adhesions happening, sometimes episodes of SAIO that is subacute intestinal obstruction like symptoms can develop. So these patients will have abdominal pain, they will have vomiting, the abdominal pain will be often colic in nature, there will be vomiting and even constipation can sometimes be seen. Then chronic diarrhea can be seen in some of these individuals, but it is usually a non-bloody diarrhea, the reason I have already told you. And then finally, abdominal distension, abdominal distension, it is often associated with underlying ascites. This is the typical clinical picture. As you can well imagine, similar presentation can be seen in many other GI conditions. So a high degree of suspicion is needed uh, to identify these individuals.